Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mission Control. I was watching Simon Dan the other day and his take on Clyde Adams from the so-called Flat Earth Institute of Science. I really wonder if they have any flat earth maps there. Well, anyway, um, Clyde here tries to debunk lunar eclipses. He uses his balls and a flashlight to prove his point and ends up thinking that the moon cannot be a sphere since the shadow he produced appears flat and not curved as in reality. Let me show you all how he got this result. So I've modeled his setup in 3D. The setup consists of a wall with a basketball close to it, another ball some distance away, and a flashlight behind it. As the ball is raised in front of the flashlight, the shadow cast on the basketball does indeed appear flat. So it might seem that Clyde actually nailed it. But then I asked myself, what would happen if we changed the perspective, changed the camera position? Well, 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 it seems that Clyde chose a very specific angle for his shot and took advantage of perspective. So what would actually be the correct angle to shoot this? Well, since we stand on the surface of the Earth when observing an eclipse, the camera should be placed as such. And as you can see, this changed everything. But apart from Clyde's deliberate attempt here, he also totally fails to make a correct model of the actual thing he's trying to debunk. Nothing in his experiment is to scale. So let's make a real scale model and see if it matches what we observe at a lunar eclipse. Here we have two spheres with the correct radii and distance between them. The light source is set to parallel rays and it's situated 147 million kilometers away. Let's move Earth up and block the moon. Hmm, where have I seen this before? Now let's move the camera way up in space and let Earth do its thing once more. So it really was perspective all along. Clyde, your institute of science, I mean, it's not really science, is it? I believe this was another safe landing for the GLOBE team, so stick around for the next mission.